Wow, what a day. Um, I'm just coming away from the top nest, Carl Benjamin. Um, just street debate. Um, we've probably seen him online. Um, <coughs> top nest. Top nest, a hotbed of socialist and sort of like eco activists. Um, you have to excuse me, I've just um, taken a mouthful. I do apologise, I shouldn't have done it yet, yeah, but here we go. But, apart from the um, very, very noisy anti people there, which were, they, they were quite numerous, and they had their ringleaders who had their megaphones and their sirens and their, their, you know, those things they had at the World Cup, the things like that just to stop down, cut down anybody having a conversation or actually talking. But it's great because um, a couple of my friends were there, which was really lovely to see the friends. Well, we did this, um, we did this thing where we, we went out amongst the people into the, you know, the demonstrators and got them, singled them off and just started having a little conversation with them. And when you're explaining what you, you know, they're going, oh, you're all fascist, you're all this. When you get beyond that, it was really, really good. We had some incredibly decent conversations, and I had, you know, two or three very, very, very decent conversations. And there's people say, well, there's more common ground than there is not common ground. And I said, yes. I was explaining to them that the powers that be, they're acting like when they're coming down to shut down, conversation on the street they're acting almost like for and on behalf of the, the um, establishment power to shut down any any conversation any free speech so they're acting like unpaid hired thugs for the establishment and once they got that pointed out to them they started to I mean I, I was amazed at how quickly they sort of thought they you know, they, they revalued their position very very impressed some of them came back and said that is really 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 sensible what you're saying and I had some lovely lovely conversations and the funny thing is the more people went out and had conversations with people in the protesters they you know you, you'd get you'd speak to there'd be mini ringleaders and I you know started speaking to a couple of mini ringleaders not the big ringleaders the little ones and they, they took their little packets of groups of people away. They said, well, no, we don't, need to do, we don't really need to be here. And so the, the protests went down and down and down. And then the conversation, the Carl Benjamin got to go and have his talk. In the, and there was some really, really good conversation. I do have a video of him. The audio is not fantastic because um, there is still quite a bit of a noise. And there's some git talking over it in parts of it. I don't know who he is. I'll find out who he is and I'll sack him later on. And, um, but you get the mainstay of it and he's talking with another MEP candidate, which was quite valuable. And they actually ended up realising that they, they had an awful lot of common ground, which was good. He was a green MEP candidate. And so, good job for Carl. Nice for me to get out. I met um, Simon sideways. Yeah, the Reverend. Um, yeah, he looked a bit stressed because he's a bit. I mean, I, I think he's sort of like um, Carl. Sort of got him and his a few other chaps like to make sure that because Antifa would attack them if they weren't there. I mean, there's no doubt about it. They would just attack. So they have to be there just to sort of like chaperone. They don't want to be called hired hands and they don't want to be called security or anything like that. But they have to chaperone. And it's a high stress situation for them. The police were there. And I've got to be honest with you, I've never met a finer bunch of policemen than I have done in Totnes. They're very decent chaps. Well said. Well, decent chaps and chapesses. Um, very, 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 very interesting. And um, they. Oh, bugger. Come on. They um, basically. Sorry about that, but nobody lets you out to overtake, do they? Um, 
they basically um, were one of them sort of like said to well one of them said to me like he came down like and he was um his point of view has been changed he said I, I got can't you know I can't leave any political opinions I have I have to take them off with my uniform which is fair enough which they should do it's, it's actually you know impossible to do it hundred percent but he said you know when I when I thought what was coming down, I thought there was these fascists coming down, and it turns out to be these really quite reasonable, nice people. So anyway, that's enough, and I'll see you on the other side. I'm going to post up some videos of the day, okay? I've got to go through them, but I'll get them out as soon as possible. Cheers.